Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 24 of Let's Game Decadence as Cadiz. Ah, blah, blah. I can never say that right. I am Badsha Umar II of the Abedi Empire. And uh, we're, we're working pretty good here. Now, if you are just joining this, which I imagine you are not because this is episode 24, but um, the Abbasid dynasty has really kind of crippled the Byzantines. They've split them right down the middle. So the last bastion of Catholic and Orthodox faith really is the Byzantines and the Holy Roman Empire. That's about it. And Denmark, of course, is just blobbed like crazy. These are Norse Norse, Old Norse, in fact. They haven't, uh, have not yet reformed. At least I don't think, yeah. No, I don't think they have. Nope, it's just regular Norse. And uh, the mission here, well, well, Poland's actually pretty big too. But the mission here is to, to consume all of the world in a hundred years. And we started in 867, so... Mm, doesn't leave a lot of time left. That leaves, what, 45 years remaining. Now, the only way that that's going to happen is if I can engineer the inheritance of the Abbasid dynasty. If I can inherit this entire thing, I would inherit his empire. This guy, Caliph Mansur. And then I would probably destroy the empire title so that it would all be under one empire without any risk of fracturing it. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I did marry uh, a daughter. So, no, no, we betrothed Princess Samia of the Abbasid Empire. This will be essential. In fact, I want to spend even more effort here. I want to probably marry any daughters that this guy has. Anyone that has a claim to the Empire. So let's go here. We'll go to the Arabian Empire, claimants. And let's look for women who have a claim to it that we can marry. She has a claim on the Abbasid Empire. Perfect. So she's she's young enough. Oh, we're already betrothed to her. I'm sorry. All right, let's go back. Abbasid Empire claimants. Yep, so she's 15. She'll be soon. I want some younger people. Seeing so younger girls who are married. 26-year-old twin. 26-year-old twin again and an 18-year-old hunchback. Let's just see if these people are married. She's not, so let's arrange a marriage. All right, so there's one. And what about one of those twins, maybe? You married? You are, okay. Mm, the other twin, then, maybe? She's 26. The same one, I might have just clicked the same thing twice. Let's take the top twin this time, this one. Nope, they're both married, okay. Well, that's two. We've married two of the people who will have weak claims. I'd even consider really anybody. Any chance we can kill that guy? We're already trying to kill the Kaiser. Okay, well, we've got two. I need to get some babies out, some sons, whatever. And we're going to try to inherit that land. We can do that within the next 50 years. Easy. And then, once we have the power of the Abbasid dynasty, we can easily blob out and conquer the rest of the map. So, at this point though, it's important that we just win as many of these wars as possible. It looks like, if I remember correctly, I've already kind of moved my armies around a bit. What are you guys all doing? He's gathering up there because it's coastal, the boats are here, okay, that's fine. I'm just trying to get my bearings straight before we unpause, because every day counts. These boats we don't need. This army, I think we'll send to Argyle, since that is red. We need to send an army to Lothian. These boats don't matter. Ulster does matter. Okay, I think we're, we're good. Let's, let's start playing. My liege, my mission has been a success. Who are you working on right now? Working on this guy. He likes me well enough. Let's work on the next person now. I have a king vassal, my marshal. He could like me a little bit more. He's got a lot of power. I do think we'll probably... Mm, yeah, let's work on his opinion also. Even though he's not present there, it should still be able to target him. A daughter. Don't care. And actually, it looks like we've got enough boats so we can actually get these guys out there. Let's take some of those. You've accepted my request. After we kill the Kaiser, I'll probably... I'll probably try to kill some of those married women's husbands. 
so that we can end up using them for more claims generation. Alright, so tech-wise, we're on medium crown law, that's fine for me. We can't get more siege equipment, feel good there. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're ready for a power session where we're just going to conquer the rest of the map. My half-brother expects it once a tithe. You're never going to be ready. In fact, why do I have an elderly half-brother? Shouldn't we just throw him in prison? Yes, we should. In prison. We could even execute him. Um, let's see. Now we'll just leave him in prison. Doesn't matter. There's a chance that I might, like, let him loose on a... Should have thrown him in the oblette there. I might forget and release him during a Ramadan or something, which would not be smart. But if that happens, oh well. Send the boats back, pick up some more troops. Suffering a little bit of attrition due to the pagan supply modifier. I'm not going to put commanders in charge because um, we're going to win anyway. And because if I have commanders in charge, then we'll suffer siege events, which is annoying pop up spam. So instead, we'll. Let's just split this army in half and camp out on both of those. And from here, we'll just say, onto the boats, everyone, as many as can. See, that's like an example of a pop-up that I don't really need to see. Ended up with 18,000 on there, that's good. We'll get these guys all the way up here to the Firth of Forth. And I need some armies here, too. So meanwhile, my sister-in-law, she's going to have her birthday in a couple months. Hopefully she will be fertile. She's charitable, patient, Saeed. My other wife already has that claim. We could just press her claim right now and then hope that we end up with a son. And then that son would inherit it. But to do that, I would first need to assassinate the current caliph and try to get them down to the the spot where they'd actually have a, uh, a weak claim. Be eligible. Okay, we've won a war, that's good. I don't even remember which one it was. One thing I'm pretty excited about is I did order a, um, a microphone boom and shock mount. So I have that now, it's coming. Like your heir is a boy, which would actually put us in a position. Yeah, I think we're gonna cancel our or plot against that. I care more about the opposite. I need that to happen soon. And can we bribe anybody? Doesn't look like it. But we're gonna we're just gonna have to leave that plot going for a while because I need him to die. What is up with this Galicia crap? Ah. Alright, my boats are coming back. Good. We'll pick up the remaining twelve thousand. Uh, we'll let him take his time. He became trusting. Where did my army that won end up? One of the one of the battles ended. Ah, uh, it was this one. Okay, you guys go there. Could assault these, but I think that it's not worthwhile. I'm only 32, so I don't see my character dying anytime soon. Prisoners, good, good. Boats. Only way that it's going to work, that I'm actually going to be able to conquer the entire map, is if I get my vassals as strong as they can be so they start expanding with me. The peace, the peace timers are, are going to be what slows me down, so I've got to get them working with me, with their own separate peace timers. Both armies of about 4,000. Close enough. No, no, no. Alright, actually, I don't think we need the boats anymore. Alright, so these wars are going well. I think we're about to wrap them all up for the most part. They're sieging some of my stuff, but not much. And I could go through these ones that are high, like this one here, and scare them off, which I probably should. I've got to be as tactical as I can be. Because if I don't, then I'm going to end up running out of time. So we'll run you through there. This siege, yeah, I should break off just a few men. Let's go take care of that. Just to scare them off. Or reset the siege timer. It's 
It's a lot of micro. But that's how you play efficiently. 89%. Good, we're fighting them there. We're scaring these ones off. This one is pretty high up, about 88% roughly. Turned off most of the siege notifications. Excellent, so we've improved relations with our marshal. Now what I think I'm going to do is go and try to improve relations with somebody over here that we could use to plot against this guy. Because we need him dead. So for instance, who has the most plot power? This mayor does for some reason. Surprisingly. Oh, apparently he's the marshal. Okay. Um, interesting. I wonder where the spymaster is. Why the spymaster doesn't have more plot power. Well, let's find out where this guy lives. He's the mayor of Tripoli. So we'll go improve relations in Tripoli and hope that we target that mayor. If we get him to like me better, it's possible. And there's a Syrian peasant revolt. Hmm, you want to marry my courtier. That's fine. 91% we're fighting. Good. No one else is high enough that it's going to matter. We should see a lot of these wars start to end now. So I'm pretty sure we're sitting on pretty much everything we need. And then we'll be ready to do the next big war. Now I can get another sister, or another Mary, another wife, whatever it's called. I'm actually losing authority, I think, right now. Or not authority, but prestige. I've been playing too much Lux Invicta. I need to have another wife. All right, let's take the time. I'm going to keep improving relations. I'm not going to probably be able to kill this guy until we get a couple more people on our side. So instead, I'm going to plot to murder one of the husbands. that has a wife with a claim. There's my wife. She's 40. A 26-year-old here. I've got two wives, okay. She's already pregnant, that's not good. Let's go with this one, I think. So let's try to kill your husband. Yamir. Yeah, we can get some plot power. Good. And then I want to flag that wife. Make sure it's the right one, because he's got a couple of them. I think it was this one. Let's mark her special interest. We're going to try to kill that guy so we can marry his wife. I need that wife. And yeah, there's this revolt. Oh, I'm not actually involved with that war. That was the other guy's war. Okay. He's not a heretic. Heresy's silly. Forgive me, I have decided to find salvation in Allah and convert to the Sunni faith. So instead of letting me win... Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. I think she lived up there, doesn't she? Oh well. We gain 100 piety, and that war ends. You surrender. Good. Over my domain limits, we'll go press the button. Distribute. Good. World conquest never got easier. Good supply limit there. This is a count and a count. Tara hasn't been created yet, so we'll create it. Leinster already exists. I'm going to just transfer vassalage to him directly. So we'll give you Leinster. The county of Leinster. I can't. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'm just going to grant the Emirate of Meath directly to my king character. And perhaps we can transfer Leinster to him directly, and let him deal with it. No, apparently Leinster must be at war or something. I'm not going to bother looking through all the wars. More prisoners. We'll just let the prisoners rot. Actually, don't have enough troops there. A pretty pesky supply limit there. I need to get my military uh, technology up to four to get rid of that attrition penalty. 
Here we go. A couple more victories. There's one and two. We create the Duchy of Cornwall now. Makes sense. We'll distribute all holdings. Now Cornwall is part of Wales, which I'm never going to be able to create. So I'm going to just stick Cornwall underneath my King of England. I'm going to transfer the... Oh no, not transfer. I'm going to grant it to him. Duchy of Cornwall. And that will du jour drift into England since I can't create the title. It would be a lot easier if I could just create all titles, but sadly you can't. So, okay, well I'm going to take a little break here, and in the next video hopefully we'll murder another one of those people, maybe get a little bit closer to murdering the Abyssin, Abyssid dynasty, so that we can then create, you know, conquer like the whole map. Should be good. There's quite a few titles that I can make. Can usurp the Duchy of Brittany now? That's good. I'll give it to this guy. Um, actually, maybe not. I can't create the Kingdom of Brittany. I, I think I can create the Kingdom of West Francia. But um, you know what? Let's just stick it underneath this guy. King of Aquitaine. We'll give you Brittany. It'll be a nice big army we can raise. So, okay, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.